On the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Abiodun Adegwite, is asking the court to compel his tenant, Fola Shade, to pay outstanding rent and vacate the apartment. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Abiodun and Folashadi Adiroga. That is what. Thank you, Aki. You're welcome. Abiodun Adiroga, the one that brought the defendant, Folashadi Adiroga, to court. Yes, Your Honor. Tenancy matter. Yes. So tell me, what happened? Precisely 2021, she, March 17, she was brought by Mr. Cletus Obolu to rent a room self-contained. And I told them I don't have a room self. I was told that she had checked the initial one upstairs, which she said was not comfortable enough for her. Later, they coerced me to allow her to take the room and parlor self downstairs, which I agreed to. But it was under renovation. The agreement was that she would allow me to complete the renovation. And while the renovation was still on, I think that was on the 22nd. I was admitted at Subo Hospital. Then the man who, uh, the second agent that brought her called me that the woman came there with all her load Sunday morning by 5.36 in the morning. So Monday morning, I had to speak to the doctor that I have to leave. I went there to see her. Now, madam, this wasn't our agreement. That what I said to you was that this place must be fully ready before you move in. She said there's no problem that they can fix the remaining things. The only two things left to be done was just water and then electricity to be connected back there because I disconnected it because of the person who was there who had yeah, 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 outstanding. So I left her and went away. But she prevented the artisans, the electrician, and the plumber. She would go to work, and I would have to co leave my place of work to come and speak to her before she would even allow. She said she cannot leave. She is into POS and financial transactions. She would say she cannot leave her place of work to come and attend to the uh, artisans. So when those ones got tired, we had paid them up front. When they got tired, they started playing games. And at the end of the day, she would tell them that they must come on Sunday. That it's only on Sundays that she's available. Eventually, I came there one Sunday to come and wait for Ibadan, the carpenter, to come and fix the door to the toilet and the kitchen. Those were the only things left to be fixed there. So for about maybe two, three weeks, that was not done until that particular Sunday that we all refused, that we were not going to church, this thing must be settled today. After then, she moved in, she settled down. About six weeks or ten weeks thereabout, she now called me one uh, Saturday night, around 11.30 in the night, that her place is leaking, and leaking seriously. So, she sent me a video. I was so scared that I never saw this while doing the renovation. So I summoned the owners of the place. And even the eldest, uh, the eldest of them came from Abuja on Tuesday, which was the following Tuesday. He came. We informed that we'll be coming. We got to the place. Let them see the extent of damage so that we can renovate and do the needful. She said she had given us um, pictures and that is all. The guarantor and the other man also appealed to her. So I left those people standing. I went to her place of work. I met with her. She, ma, she trashed me. I have evidences in my, every of our conversation, I have them here. So along the line, we kept appealing to her that, okay, fine, let's renovate this place. This is dangerous. There has been a, a lot of stories about collapsed buildings and around that time there was a lot of collapsed buildings so we told her she still insisted that she would not do anything we will fast forward to i think in november 
or, or between August and November, she went to the mediation center. I was here. I went there. We had the discussion there. The whole of the trans uh, 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 thing is here. We went there. They told us that, okay, fine. How long does she have left? Because when we go push to the wall, we had to issue her with a quick notice that, madam, please leave so that we can at least renovate the place. At the mediation center, the, uh, the mediator now told us that we should refund three months to her. I told her, I said, we don't have that three months to uh, refund to her. She now said she wasn't interested in three months, that she wanted the whole uh, sum paid when she came in. I'll rent, uh, as of November that she went to the mediation, her rent was meant to expire February 28th, which she was meant to renew March 1st. So the woman now said, okay, we should give her enough, uh, at least some time to get another apartment. And I, uh, then I told the woman, I said, even in the letter we gave to her, we told her that once the a rent expires in February, please, we'll give you to May 31st. Get yourself another place so that we can avert the danger. We had that uh, discussion. I think that was December 19. I was ill and I had to be flown out. I went away. By the time I came back early February, I went to her. The madam, I'm unable to, uh, I was unable to at least attend to what we agreed on. What has been the thing you did so far? She told me, she said she has nothing she's doing. That we, I should take her to the courts. So I went back to the owners. I spoke with them. I think what we should do is that let's just give this woman some more time. That let her put herself together and get another apartment. The, uh, the guarantor, Mr. Ubolu, also told me that several years had gone there. Then I think that was around September 2022. I went to her. That, okay, madam, we have started renovation. Let's continue with that place and then find a way to do your side. She told me that when I'm done with my dirty legs, I'll get off her place. There's somebody who can I, I actually attest to that. So I left her. I kept appealing to her, but the last straw was when I went to her the last time. And she told me that uh, when we are ready, we know what to do. That agents and landlords know how to deal with tenants. That she's not going anywhere. That she doesn't have money. And that if we feel that we need money, we should come and take our rent. So I thought I said, if I take the rent from you, I will only get paid. I will be happy because I need money. But the thing is, should anything happen to you there, I will be liable. The owners will be liable. Your life is at risk. I said that to her. We didn't get any feedback ever since. So the owner called her. And she told the owner that. The only thing is that we have not come for, uh, for the rent. That if we want the rent, she will give us the rent. But that she's not leaving. So that was why I had to eventually come to uh, appeal for the justice court to help us out. What is the problem? Ma, truly, I rented the building on April 2021. I'm looking for a room self, but where he showed me, the man is still there that time. I don't know that they have misunderstanding with the man already. So, and I, he now say, I will, after the man leave, that I will packed in. He said, there is some place under the, on, on the first floor that I can use that one. Because I told him that where I wanted to pack from their house, that they gave me quick notice there. Everybody in the house. That Baba wants to renovate his house. And I told him that I cannot continue to be begging that Baba. I have my money to rent the house. He now said they are under innovation on their house. 
I pay for the house rent. I said, Mr. Goke, when are you giving me to finish the renovation? He gave me just three days. I paid on Friday. He said the next Tuesday that I will pack it in. But three weeks, a month, nothing like that. I started calling. And as you see him, if you call him, he will never pick your call. The phone will just be ringing. I now told the Baba agents that that deal, because that one is an elderly man. I said, this thing that I paid Mr. Goke, but they have not finished the renovation. And I cannot be begging that Baba that I want to leave his house. The Baba now said, that on Friday Sunday, I told the Baba that, Baba, I'm coming to the house today. And they have not yet fixed all the door that time. I said, Baba, help me to call Mr. Goke. I've been calling. He didn't pick my call. That help me to call him home. I'm coming to the house. That Sunday, the Baba did not go to church. He now called Carpenter. That, oh yeah, come and help this woman to fix the door. They fixed the door. And I packed it on Sunday, Sunday evening. So after that, the toilet door is there. No cabinet, nothing, nothing. I started calling Mr. Goke. He will not answer you. I reported him to the Baba. Baba said, I don't know. Why is doing like that Baba, that Baba too, he said, he called him that. He did not pick call. Like three months, and now say, oh yeah, Mr. Goke, give me that tenant, I'll be that landlady's number, because up to today, I've not sight my eyes on the landlady. He gave me the woman number. I called, he said, what did I want to call the woman for? I said, for this complaint that I've, I've been complaining to you, that you didn't see, you didn't do anything to it. I called the woman. The woman referred me back to him. That anything, I should go and meet him. I said, as a woman, maybe you will feel what I'm feeling. Help me to talk to Mr. Goke. The woman will say, I should, anything that I want to say, that I should go and meet Mr. Goke. So, after that, as I was complaining, there was the second floor. Nobody is living there. Like... The, the house is abandoned house for years. So nobody is living there. Anytime the rain fell, the rain that fell inside the, because no window, nothing, nothing. The place is just empty. So anytime that is heavy rain, the rain that is sinking from the wall, we, from the decking, we started drilling inside, the, inside my department. I call, I call this man. So, he didn't answer. I snapped the, I snapped the picture. I sent it to him. He didn't look at it. He didn't say anything. That time, he will not even come to our house at all. If you complain anything, he won't come. So I now started, I called the woman again. That one did not say anything. I, I reported to the Baba, the agents. That one too did not say anything. After three months, enough, after troubling him, he now fixed the toilet door and the cabinet. So when I started troubling him for the linking decking, the next thing that I see, he brought quick notice to my shop. I collected the quick notice from him. And I took him to mediation. That one, they said, eh, he gave me quick notice that I should quit. I said, ah, uh -uh. what of my agency money, commission and agreements. You say I should quit for just two months notice. I say, ah. So later, I go to the lawyer. I, collect, I, I, gave, I serve him a letter too. He didn't collect the letter. So now, he now carried me to. What was in the letter that you served? Quit notice letter. Quit notice. <laughs> The plaintiff, Abiodun Adegbite, claims the defendant, Fola Shade, has been very uncooperative regarding the renovation and repairs in the apartment. He stated that Fola Shade was asked to vacate the apartment but refused to leave and did not pay due rent. Fola Shade claims she was given quick notice in a previous apartment before she moved to this new apartment and under one-year tenancy, she has received another notification 
to vacate. She claims that she does not have enough funds to rent another apartment. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. Who is that do you smola? That's the owners uh, of the, the late owner of the house. Of the house. You, you, you said you served him this letter. How did you come? He was the one that served me this. Okay, because this is addressed to you. Okay. So which one did you say you served on him and I did not acknowledge? Have you served that notice to first? Yes, ma'am. Can I have a look at it? I know. That was the one. That was the first That was one. the one she... This is the notice to quit? No, no. The yes, one that... Let me show you. Is this the only thing you were served? Yes. Show it to him. Okay. This is... That's it. That's all. You see? This is not notice to quit. You have to get a lawyer to write notice to quit. This is just a letter informing now of your intention. Valid notice can only be issued by a lawyer. That's where she's hiding. Behind that. Is that not so? <laughs> now you went to mediation. You agreed to move out of Did you agree to move out by 31st of May? Ma? Did you agree to move out by 31st of May when you went for mediation? I did not agree. You did not agree? Yes. There's no problem. Let me just point something out to you. Are you owing rent as of today? I'm not owing. Is it she owing? Yes, ma'am. When did your tenancy expire? I'm looking at your Mash. letter. There's one thing you don't know. Even if you drag it and you don't leave that house in the next four years, the law will still make you to pay for it. Every day that you spent in that house, for every there is no law that says a tenant can live in a landlord's house without paying rent, free of charge. No, you witnessed the bailiffs, court bailiffs, when they left execution before. No, they come in from the court and pack everything in the building. They take it down to the court premises. They will auction it. If you are owing 500,000 naira, and when they sell all those things, if they're able to raise 300,000 naira, they will wait. It could be a year, it could be two years after. Even if you've left that place, you are living somewhere else. They will just come over again, and they start removing the AC and everything. They will go and sell again. And they keep repeating that. Is that the route you want? No. So why are you still holding on there? Because as far as I'm concerned, you are shooting yourself in the leg. Because you are just accumulating your indebtedness to them. Because there are two things. We have issue of you're leaving the premises, but your rent is still running. Even if you resist that, I'm not leaving now. But remember that the rent is still accruing. And there is no law that will make you to stay there forever. They have the right to even increase their rents. There's nothing that says that what you were paying last year is what you pay now. Do you understand me? I understand. So, I don't know why you don't want to leave, honestly. Why? Maybe I should ask you. No. When they call me, I always tell them that my money is not yet complete. I don't understand. You know, all this... Um, Agreement and commission, damages, whatever. No, that is what. That no, you see, when you when when ask people around, don't let anybody deceive you. When you paid, you paid commission, right? Did you pay for legal fee for the agreement? 
was it paid? You paid legal fee. Agreement fee, that's what yes, you call it. Yes, you paid yes. agreement. Yes. The lawyer prepared the agreement. He has taken his own fee. That money can never come back to you because he has done the job. No, and I didn't, didn't say they should return it back. You to mentioned me. commission. Mm -hmm. Wait. For the commission, the agent that brought you to the house, that is his own fee. Mm. He has completed his job. He has taken his own fee. He has walked away. That money can never come back to you. Anybody that tells you that money is coming back to you is deceiving you. And for the landlord, the rent you paid, you have exhausted the period you even paid for. You have no business being in that house now. And it's not as if we are just gone, unless they decide to waive the rent, the outstanding rent. Unless they decide to waive it for you. So, do you really think it makes sense for you to keep on staying there? Myself, I'm tired of the house already. I'm tired as of long the... as you are there, the rent is running. The rent is running. So when do you want to move out? When do you want to move out? Any time from now. You are leaving tomorrow? No. Does that mean tomorrow? Let me have the specific time. The, I'll tell you one thing. Because um, the tenancy law of legal state, look at it. When your rent is due, in actual fact, what is written there is seven days. It's just a standard practice. Because when people give you, after your rent has expired, when people give you time, because we look at it like, oh, let the person have time to look for an alternative accommodation. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't abuse. It's a privilege you are abusing right now. It's a privilege that you are abusing right now. Because your rent has expired. So when do you want to move out? Let me return this to her. Mm -hmm. I will leave two months. Two months time. Mm -hmm. So that's your claim for her to vacate the premises. Mm -hmm. My claim is actually that one year, because the truth of the matter is that even at the point of death, when the lady who owns the place, all the medical records are available. She's a, she's a sickler. And she was dying right there in UCH, in Ibadan. We're begging this woman that even if it's part of it, it's either you move out so that we can get somebody to put there so that we could get money for her. Ma, the Sickle Cell Foundation, can attest to what I'm saying. The Sickle Cell Foundation actually bailed us out. All she did was to bring thugs from the royal family in Isheri because she walks around them and keeps threatening us. And I ran for my life. I left her that I wouldn't be coming there again. She tells us to go to no, court and funny. do whatever we want to if do. If that actually Ma. happened, it's not funny. Ma. Do you Ma. understand? Because let me explain it's to you. That that what he just said now, if, if it actually happened, is threat to life. And that's a criminal offense. Do you understand? I'm a full Christian. The, the two of you. <laughs> is this man, Ma, when I need Ma, there are tenants who could actually speak to Honestly, what I'm saying, you know, who live you with know her, what? who cannot you have to even come down. You have to calm down. Do you know what? The bottom line is, I have not even heard this before. I told you that you are liable to pay for the period that you are spent in the house because that is the law. How much is the rent it's now? It's Because if you are going to leave in two months' time, your rent is going to be above one year's rent. Mr. Goke, yeah, forgive me. And if, <laughs> forgive. We'll forgive you, but you can't just go like that. <laughs> We can only do we can only do maybe leave you by half. <laughs> Is that okay? Away for book boy. Tell what my you it will affect me to pay for another rent. Your normal. 
it will have been very easy for me to even say she should just go so that we can bring somebody else. But I stand on the honor, and I'm saying it before heavens. That's half I'm asking for. It's just to make life easy. a little easy for that lady. I'm boiling the way I am. I paid that lady 280,000 naira in September when I left her place. And she told me, I have, I told, uh, when they were uh, scripting me, I said it. All our discussions are here. I know you have it. And I knew you were angry. And I didn't want you to play them because I know it's going to make you start boiling again. And that's why I never requested Ma, for that to be played. I made the... This the mistake second. right from the one. The man she's talking about, the elderly man, actually told me then. Mr. Like, Guka, okay, I don't have the money. You don't have the money. It will affect me to pay for another rent. Even the one that delayed me is because of agreement and commission that remained for me to. That means you have money to pay for some areas, but you don't have money to pay where you are putting your head now. What the excuse you are even giving is not making sense. Madam, I'm not asking you for everything. The 100,000 naira I'm asking you for is just for you to at least put, me, uh, put yourself in my shoes. I didn't benefit anything from that place and I've still paid. The rent there had been increased to 280 since last year. And I paid the woman in full. I've not asked you to pay 140. I've only asked you to pay 100,000 naira. Mr. Goke, leave, leave it. Leave it. If I, I keep pay. leaving it, I'll run out no, of it. Let me, let me, now, now I understand where it is. You have to pay 100,000. Will I be paying you for 5,000? <laughs> that will be. That will not be. <laughs> That's all right now. I walk. I feel if we, even if we do 2020, we'll do it five times and we're over. If we do five, I yeah. cannot get that 2020. <laughs> Should I do it then? I don't want any disappointment. That is the one that I'm doing now. No problem, Your Honor. Which one are you paying from this month of from? From last month. We start paying 10,000 naira on a monthly basis. Vacate the premises. Now, I just want to pass my comment. You see, you didn't have to allow this to get to this stage. What have you done here that you could not have done at home? Am I making sense to you? You don't have to allow it to get here to this stage. You have an issue to walk up to it. Is it not the same person that has agreed now? Is your manner of approach, which you even initially displayed there before I cautioned you. Do you understand? So watch it. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. So, judgment for this is that the defendant is to pay the plaintiff the sum of 100,000 naira at the rate of 10,000 naira on a monthly basis. The defendant is to vacate the premises by the 30th of April, 2023. Judgment for the plaintiff. All rise. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.